morning everybody welcome back to the channel thailand dreaming love letters from retirement so this morning i'm sitting here at the um wapi patom earthen village it's where i stayed last night lovely little place i'll recommend it to anyone it's a great little out of the way place dirt road down from the main road uh, from Wapi Patum. Um, I'm a bit sleepy. I didn't sleep well last night. I had uh, just blocked nose for some reason or other. I don't know why. Yeah, so uh, I've really enjoyed my time here. I'm just going to do a video on Wapi Patum and uh, the farm I went to and the family uh, that I know up here. And uh, yeah, I had a really interesting night last night. Um, my friend went to her daughter's dormitory to see, it's the first time she's ever been there since the daughter's been at university, to see she was studying and, and whatnot, just to check up, everything was all right. So that was a really interesting night. There's uh, a bunch of girls there I think there's two or three of them, two, two stay in the room, but there was about one, two, three, four, five, six or seven of them there, all with their computers out on little desks, sitting around on the floor, drinking beer and studying and uh, drinking energy drinks <laughs> and drinking beer because they stay up studying till sometimes five o'clock in the morning, four or five o'clock in the morning. So they're really trying hard and uh, that pleased the mother to no end uh, really happy to see you know that all her hard work because she works really hard on the farm really really hard she's up at uh, four o'clock every morning she cooks breakfast and food for the day for her mum and her dad the dad is 88 an amazing old man and he works out on the farm still every day from dawn till dusk absolutely incredible and uh, I was so pleased. Yesterday I bought some fruit trees just as a gift for their hospitality. And uh, late yesterday afternoon when I came back here and uh, checked in and got into my room and had a shower and everything, uh, my friend sent me some photos of Papa uh, digging these big holes to plant the trees. Dig the big holes and then fill them up with water and then it soaks the ground around the tree and then plant the trees tomorrow when the water's soaked into the ground. Yeah, but yeah, obviously he was really happy about it. So that made me really happy because he don't really like foreigners. He's never even been to Bangkok, this man. But it, I, I've never seen anyone work so hard and 88 years old, strong, still strong and working out in the hot sun all day, every day. The people here are amazing. The people in rural Thailand are absolutely incredible. So anyway, I'm here at this place. It's in the middle of uh, nowhere, basically. I'm quite surprised, but there's a few resorts up here, but this was the only one I found on booking.com. But the people here are really nice. The proprietor, uh, what? He's a really intelligent man, speaks incredible English. The best English I've experienced, uh, best English conversation I've experienced with a Thai person since I've been in Thailand. Uh, and uh, his wife, really lovely people. So I'm just sitting here having my morning coffee at the moment. It's uh, just on dawn. Well, the sun's not up yet, actually. So if I just shut up for a little while, you can hear the only sounds well, I can hear some cars over on the main road, but just sitting here earlier, all I could hear was the birds. And to greet me, just to show you, to greet me, those guys. Yeah? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Pepsi. This is Pepsi. And that's Pepsi's son over there. Uh, Tung Kao socks because he was born with two white socks can you see him oh there he is over there tong cow tong cow tong cow yeah so uh, there's a few guests here actually but uh yeah a really nice place and i'm really happy to be here 
and uh, beautiful just sitting here this morning you can hear the uh, yeah. <laughs> Pepsi's harassing me to give her a bit of a scratch under the ears yeah so you can hear the birds it's, it's just beautiful here birds I can hear some roosters off in the distance rural Thailand it's it's just lovely it really is fantastic so I hope you enjoy the video when I get it edited and up onto YouTube because uh, I'll probably do one just on this region and what I've experienced since I've been here. It's really absolutely wonderful. So later today, uh, I'm off to Surin, another place I've never been to. And uh, what the proprietor of uh, Wapipatum Earthen Village has uh, given me a link to go and see uh, uh, an elephant park there where you can feed the elephants and play with the elephants and stuff like that. So. I've been hanging out to see some elephants. The only elephants I seen were in the back of a truck and I didn't have the GoPro on the helmet. Just pulled up at the stoplights and there's a truck in front of me with two elephants in it. <laughs> only in Thailand. Anyway, so I'll do a little bit of a walk around in here later on uh, so you can see what this place is like. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now. Pepsi wants me to scratch on it behind the ears. Say goodbye, Pepsi. Say goodbye, eh? Say goodbye, eh? Eh? Okay. Bye for now. Okay, so this is where I'm staying. It's Wapi Patum Earthen House Resort. There's the phone number. I'll put the details. I got it through booking.com. It's costing me 21 bucks a night Australian. So, which is about 500 baht, something like that. As you can see, it's all little bungalows. Uh, I've already been inside one and it's uh, really when, even though it has a metal roof, it's really well insulated. It's a pleasant little place. And it's out in the middle of nowhere here. Uh, don't know about that background music, if it's gonna interfere with uh, my uh, copyright stuff, I don't think so. The people here, the proprietor, speaks really good English. When I spoke to him on the phone, I thought he was actually European. So there's a little garden, shady tree there to sit down and relax in. Just sit on the grass, I guess. Uh, this is the check-in area over here. There's some umbrellas. Uh, you can get breakfast here at the place. I'm pretty sure that's the proprietor's house there. This is the uh, little office where you check in. Check in was easy. They let me check in uh, early. They don't have many guests. This is way out in the middle of nowhere. So yeah, it's a pleasant, really pleasant looking little place. And the people appear to be extremely friendly, knowledgeable of the area and uh, speak really good English. So I'm really happy about that. So uh, let's have a look at the room. Trusty Steve again. Almost a couple of thousand kilometers so far, carrying myself and all my gear. I love this bike. Okay, so this is my room. They're like African huts or something. I don't know, that just gives me that meaning. But on first appearance, the room looks really good. It has, you know, it's got a big screen TV, got aircon, somewhere to hang your clothes, a little working desk, uh, king size bed. That feels uh, fairly firm, about a medium, which I like. Okay, let's have a look at the bathroom. There's the toilet, which unlike in many places, is separate from the actual shower. Hot water system, really clean, really, really clean. A quite a nice place, really huge shower access with a uh, rainfall shower. And uh, yeah, really, really clean. Really nice for 21 bucks, you can't go wrong in this place. Just beautiful. It is a really pretty little place. Little recessed ceiling. The place must be really well insulated because it's not hot inside the room. Shuttered windows, which I think you afford a, a, a little view out over the fields there, which would look pretty good when it's uh, nice and green in the rice season. So this is the room. It's called Wapi Patum Earthen House. I'll put the details in the description of the video. Look at these guys. Ciao for now. Pepsi.
<laughs> you like a scratch under the ear? Huh? <laughs> huh? Seriously? Seriously? Okay. Don't go. Oh, I lie. I lie. <laughs> just so pleasant playing with these guys in this morning. Little oh, Pepsi here, she loves some affection. Mmm. Good dog. Eh? Eh? You want some more? Yeah. You want some more? <laughs> eh? You want some more? Okay. Early rise. Every morning I get up early. There's the sun coming up through the smoke haze. Every day it's red like that in the morning and the evening. Yeah, so um, this is the residence of the people, the proprietors of uh, Wapi Patum Earth and House. The dogs are playing, having their early morning games. These are the rooms. Uh, what was telling me he did the uh, roofs, uh, you might uh, see the resemblance if ever you've been to Bali, based on the Balinese style with the uh, double gap to let the hot air out and the really high ceilings to keep the place cool and the rooms are cool. I have uh, used the air con, but uh, I had to turn it off because the rooms uh, are not hot at all. Lovely little garden. My gear there, my coffee. And uh, this tree here, I don't know what it is, uh, uh, but it's full of flowers. And there's, the Asian bees are really small. So I'm not sure if you can see them. I'll try to zoom in. Asian bees are really, really small. So I don't know if you can see them flying around the flowers, no, but there's just like uh, hundreds and hundreds of them. So there must be a big hive somewhere. As some of you know, I was an apiarist in Australia, had a lot of hives, uh, always uh, happy to see bees. Without the bees, there's no human beings. So a little garden area some nice stone wall features, a couple of big shade trees. And uh, obviously there's a few guests here. I think Thai people, uh, not many foreign come here. And uh, these are the rooms. And uh, it really is a wonderful little place. I mean, the rooms are basic, there's, there's no, um, there's no fridge, there's no coffee making facilities in the rooms, but there's air con, really good shower, hot water. They're clean, the bed's good. Everything's really good here. I really like this place. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rooms or so. So, and uh, try to imagine for a minute yeah, when this is totally that beautiful jade green when it's full of new rice. I want to come up here in June or July. Those fields would look absolutely beautiful, completely green and wet. It's dry season now, so don't have that uh, opportunity to see that. Some buffalo over there. In the field doing their thing, whatever they do in the morning. Wapi Patum, Earth and Health Re Resort. There's the phone number. And I'll put the details, uh, the line ID, uh, the phone number, uh, any website or Facebook link that they've got, I'll put in the information under the video. Yeah, so I really enjoyed just only yesterday and last night here and I'm off to Surin tomorrow so but uh, I just really like this place it is really nice really comfortable the proprietors really lovely people really friendly and as I said before what uh, very good English so I've had some really good conversations with him and uh, 
yeah, interesting. A really nice place. And there's Pepsi, you know, the resort security. Pepsi and her son, Tong Kai, Tong Kao. Hmm? What's going on, Peps? What's going on, Pepsi? Huh? You're a happy dog, aren't you? Huh? Master Nook, yeah? Mmm, what's this? Huh? What's this? What's this? Ah, oh, here he comes, here he comes. Jealous. Jealous, eh? Jealous. Hmm? Okay, so, there you have it. And, uh, I don't know, I might shoot some more video today. I'm not 100% sure what exactly being retired you know i do what i want to do when i want to do it so i'm not really sure i don't really have a plan other than i'm going to soar in today which is about two hours on the bike so i'm breaking the trip home back into shorter trips and overnight stays and going to places that uh, i haven't been before so tomorrow hopefully i'll have some footage of some elephants okay so they have it for the morning. Good morning, everybody. <laughs>